Hi everyone, my name is Raymond Orr and welcome back to my channel. Lately I've been visiting Sedona and I met this amazing doctor called Dr. Hart. He's from the Biosurbenutic Institute right here in Sedona and he gave me a walk around and this guy's been doing research for the last 40 years on human brain waves and how to improve our state of being from the beta more active type of brainwave where we formulate questions and conversations and work uh, and dialogue and stuff like that into the alpha state which is a little bit more creative more um, you would say balanced between the right and the left type of brain now this guy has trainings that the minimum cost is about twenty thousand dollars and he shared with me the three best scientific methods of reaching the alpha state the alpha state, it means that you are more relaxed, you're more in tune, you're less in the fear, the fight or flight response. It means that you're more attuned. There's another way of calling this. In the HeartMed Institute, they call it the coherence. That means that you have a balance between your heart rate and your brain waves, sort of like come together. And this is something that can be achieved when you meditate in the Himalaya mountains for 30, 40 years. But with Dr. Hart, some people achieved it within one week of training. We're talking about an average of 11 points added to your IQ, 50% more creativity, and an additional of EQ, which is very hard to measure. Uh, they work there on the forgiveness, they work there on recognizing simple patterns in your past. It's, it's quite amazing, it's a difficult training, okay? You're staying in this freezing cold room for seven, eight hours, and then you have to work on yourself, you have to answer simple questions, and they monitor your brain waves while they're doing it. So, without further ado, I want you to understand what he told me in secret were the three scientific methods that a simple person can increase their alpha brain waves. Method number one is to focus your attention on the inner voice and not on the outer voice. And what does that mean? It means that you are, well, first <laughs> you stop talking and you start listening much more. Because as you're talking, the area in your brain that is responsible for formulating the words and accessing your memory in order for you to formulate your um, thought at that moment into speech, it focuses the brain waves on beta. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So that means that when you are conversing with somebody else, which a lot of us do during the day, we are not in alpha. And alpha is more creative, and alpha is more present, okay? So that's method number one. That means it's either that spend more time with yourself, by yourself, doing the things that you like, anything that gets you into a repetitive, physical, um, mental state. For example, when you exercise or when you're jogging, you don't think about anything, your body is busy, and then a lot of ideas come, okay? Even when uh, after the shower, when you uh, dry yourself off, you do it in exactly the same rhythm, okay? And today, we're so bombarded by uh, external stimuli that we don't really have time. And then the only time that we do have to be more creative and get new ideas is either when we are in the toilet or when we are in the shower. Because again, we're always driving, we're doing some things and stuff like that. So method number one, listen to the inner voice. Method number two, and this he told me, that was researched in the last century. And they took two groups and they had one group journaling about the day-to-day -day activity and they had another group journaling about their day-to-day -day activity, but in the third person. In other words, instead of saying, I got up, I brushed my teeth, I, I don't know, went and meditated, I say, Ray got up. Ray went and brushed his teeth. Ray meditated for a duration of 15 minutes. Ray feels happy, or Ray feels sad, or Ray was pissed off at somebody, whatever, okay? Now, imagine what it does to you when you look at yourself from the outside suddenly you're not attached to your routine, you're not attached to the way that your routine makes you feel, or the different circumstances, or the acquaintances that you met, and suddenly you are able to observe it, okay? Now, what does observation do? You are moving outside of yourself, of the ego construct that was created to serve, well, pretty much just to serve the body, to protect the body, and you become the observer, objectively, without identifying with it. You know, there's a lot of NLP methods that do this as well. And that means that suddenly you say, wait a second, why did Ray have this argument? Or why did Ray feel insulted 
when this and this person said this and that, okay? And then when you become more observant, you become more aware and you become less attached to the way that you think, the way that you feel, and the way that you believe. And then you can advance as a human being. So remember, method number one, inner voice only, not outer voice. Method number two, become the observer if you decide to journal about yourself, but you don't have to, yeah? But it's about the way that you perceive yourself from the outside. For, the, for example, when you have an argument with someone, then it's one ego with an argument with another person. But if you perceive this whole argument or scenario from the outside, suddenly you don't come in a good or bad type of perspective. You don't come in, I'm right and you're wrong, or I have this evidence that I've collected, or I know, you know, I know like green and blue and, and orange in the Spiral Dynamics uh, series. If you haven't watched it so far, highly recommend that you do. It's in my channel. So these two things calm you down and make you more present. And again, Dr. Hart measured them scientifically. So again, Dr. Hart measured this in a scientific way. They checked and they saw that this is the way that you should think if you want to get into these deeper levels instead of again meditating 40 years in the Himalaya mountains. Yeah, you can reach that the same type of Zen state as you are doing your day-to-day -day routine. Method number three, which correlates with the two previous methods, is that you will get more into alpha when you shut your eyes. And this is the reason that most meditations and most channeled information comes when the eyes are closed. And why is this? As you can understand, the ego is connected with our reality or the illusion of a reality through the different senses, especially the eyesight, especially the eyesight. The brain is always occupied with analyzing everything that is around us. Any movement, any you know, television screen or monitor, immediately we are distracted by it. So when you close your eyes, even for 5 to 10 seconds, you go within. And let me uh, share with you um, a very simple example so you will understand. Ask yourself the question, who am I really? When your eyes are open and just listen for a confirmation from within. And then do the same thing with your eyes closed. Ask yourself the question, who am I really? Okay, and when your eyes are closed, you're going to get a different sense, something more uh, acute, deeper, okay, profound maybe, of the inner voice. You don't have to rationalize it. You don't have to go into the mental mind to understand it. But you will understand that when you close your eyes, you commit to going through a journey that goes within and not of the outside world, which is pretty much a distraction. If you guys are following me for a while, then you understand that everything outside of us is, well, it's absurd, but it's, it's not reality. It's a type of illusion, okay? Everything that, w the way that we feel has absolutely nothing to do with the things that happen outside of us. It's just a choice, right? You can shift it in the same way that you shift your responsibility from the outside when you're blaming your mom for the way that she raised you or the government for COVID and vaccines or you blame the gas prices or your sister or your ex-husband or your ex-wife or your ex-relationship for hurting you and then, then you don't have any trust in other people and stuff like that. When you shift the responsibility within, and you're guided to do so because you start understanding that the whole journey, the whole universe is just within. It is our choice, the way that we see, feel, believe. So these three things are the things that are going to help you scientifically reach alpha states in your meditations, in your daily practices, in the way that you perceive life. Remember, the first one, the inner voice, not the outer voice. The second one, third person view of your life a higher perspective of who you are and see yourself exactly as others. And the third one, close your eyes, go within. Don't allow any outside stimuli to affect the way that you feel, believe, and see reality. Namaste, my friends. Check out everything on my workshops at www.reymaor.com if you want to experience the deepest level of personal development.